Hello, my name is Stephanie Edwards and I'm an exhibition assistant here at the Ferens Art Gallery. I'm standing in front of a portrait of William Wilberforce, painted by artist Sir Thomas Lawrence. It was painted in 1828 and depicts Wilberforce 69 years old. Wilberforce was born in the city of Hull in 1759 and he is remembered in the city as a local hero for his leading role in the campaign to abolish the transatlantic slave trade. As a member of parliament in Hull and then in Yorkshire, he was instrumental in the passing of the act to abolish the transatlantic slave trade in 1807. This painting shows a much older Wilberforce, one who had retired from parliament and from his campaigning mainly because of his ill health he had experienced for much of his adult life. While still attending anti-slavery meetings and writing lots of letters to his other campaigners until his death in 1833. This portrait shows a much older version of Wilberforce, the statesman that we're used to seeing. Wilberforce was frequently in pain and the unusual slouch position captured by the artist at Thomas Lawrence could be due to the development of a curvature of the spine that Wilberforce experienced in the later years of his life. Despite Sir Thomas Lawrence being a very popular artist at the time, Wilberforce had to be persuaded to sit for, by his friend, Sir Robert Inglis. The sitting didn't go too well and Wilberforce was in considerable discomfort having to sit still for many hours. It is believed that this was the only time that Wilberforce posed for Lawrence before the artist died in 1830. He left the painting famously unfinished and Sir Robert Inglis, who had commissioned the painting, decided never to let anyone else finish it and so remains as it is here today. This portrait is here as part of the Coming Home project through which the National Portrait Gallery is sending portraits of iconic individuals to places with which they are most associated with. This countrywide initiative will enable 50 portraits from the National Collection to travel to towns and cities across the UK, providing venues and communities with an opportunity to celebrate their local heroes.